Hello, friends. This time I'm reading, Even Robots Can Be Thankful. Thankful, Thankful, Thankful by Jan Thomas. To listen to more stories like this, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Even robots can be thankful. Have you ever wondered how many times I can say thankful? No. Contents. Bump in the night. Sorting bolts. The train trip. Wow, I'm thankful to have my cold, wet shoes off. And I'm really thankful I'm not rusting out in that storm anymore. Bump in the night. Yikes, you don't want to rust. Bump. I heard a bump. Me too. Bump, bump. I heard a bump, bump. Me too. Bump. I think I know what the bumping noise is, Red Robot. What is it, Blue Robot? Bump. It's a robot eating monster! Bump, bump. There's no such thing as a robot eating monster. Uh, what are you doing? I'm just resting. Bump. It's okay to be scared. I'm not scared. I'm just resting. And I'm enjoying my blanket. I really like the stripes. Don't you like the stripes? Bump. Yes. I like the stripes. Anyway, I'm going to see what the bumping noise is. Bump, 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 bump. What? You can't leave me here alone with a robot eating monster? Bump. I'm glad you decided to join me. Are you ready? No. Bump. I can't move, Red Robot. You can't move because you are so scared. Bump, bump. I'm not scared. Bump. I can't move because you are standing on my blanket. Oh, sorry. Bump. Okay, here we go. Wait, look. What is it? Do you think it could be the... Robot eating monster? Bump, bump. No. The dryer. Something in the dryer is making the noise. A robot eating monster is in the dryer? Bump. Bump. Are you resting again? Yes. I became tired all of a sudden. Bump. You know, sometimes I get scared. I'm sorry to hear that you get scared sometimes, Red Robot. Good thing I'm here. I bet you'd be pretty scared without me. Bump. Uh, did you put your wet shoes in the dryer, Blue Robot? Are my wet shoes and a robot eating monster in the dryer together? Bump, bump. No, it's just your wet shoes. There is no robot eating monster. What? There's no robot eating monster? Phew! I hope you weren't too scared. I bet you were thankful that I was around. I've heard that scary things aren't so scary when you have a good friend by your side. Of course, I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm never scared. Brrr, the fire went out. It's freezing! Chatter, chatter. It is freezing! Too bad we don't have something to keep us warm. We don't have anything. Chatter, chatter. We have nothing. A uh, blue robot? Hey, we do have something. I'm thankful you had your blanket with you. Well, you never know when you might need a blanket. Screech! I heard a scream. Me too. I'm thankful that you are here resting with me, Red Robot. And I am thankful you are here resting with me. Let's rest here until morning, okay? 
sorting bolts. I just love bolts. I love how they clank when you shake them. And I love how heavy they are. I just love everything about them. Would you like to hold them? Uh, maybe later. The answer is five. Mind if I join you, Red Robot? I want to sort my bolts. Please do join me, Blue Robot. Okay, here we go. Tumble, thunk, crash. Medium bolt, medium bolt, large bolt. Clink, clink, clink. Would you mind not naming the size of every bolt you sort? It's hard to concentrate on my super complex math problems. Oh, okay, Red Robot. Let's see. I won't name the size. Nope, not the size. Let's see. Red bolt, blue bolt, green bolt. Clink, clink, clink. Would you mind just going somewhere else to sort your bolts? Oh, sorry. Okay, Red Robot. I'll just go outside to sort my bolts. Outside? Yes, thanks, Blue Robot. Here I go, outside. Outside, thanks. Okay, where was I? The answer is five. You're back already, Blue Robot. Whimper. Is something wrong, Blue Robot? Whimper, sniff, sniff. Purple Robot just hurt my feelings. Oh dear, what did Purple Robot say? Well, first he said hello, and then I said hello. And then he said, it's a nice day. And then I said, it is a nice day. And then he said, it's nice and sunny. And then I agreed and said, just tell me the important part. The important part? The part that hurt your feelings. Oh, that. Well, Purple Robot said that sorting bolts was very silly. He said that it was the silliest thing he had ever seen. He said that? Oh, Blue Robot, sorting bolts is not silly. You don't think so? Of course not. And you know what? What? I'm going to tell Purple Robot that sorting bolts is not silly. Come on! Oh, Purple Robot! Yes? I just wanted to say that sorting bolts is not silly. It is one of the most important tasks of all. How is it one of the most important tasks of all, Red Robot? Yes, Red Robot. How is it one of the most important tasks of all? Well, just think about it. What would happen if one of us lost a bolt? I don't know. What would happen? I don't know either. What would happen? Well, if we lost a bolt, we might fall apart. And Blue Robot would have a new bolt ready for us. I would have a new bolt ready for us? Yes, Blue Robot. That's amazing! I would have a new bolt ready for us! Wow! I see now that what you do is very, very important, Blue Robot. I see that now, too! Well, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, Blue Robot. Oh, it's okay, Purple Robot. I'm thankful to have a good friend who makes me feel important. Well, that's what good friends do for each other. Over here, Purple Robot. Let me show you how to sort bolts. Okay. Thunk, crash, tumble. Red bowl, green bowl, red bowl. Clink, clink, clink. Green bowl, green bowl, blue bowl. Clink, clink, clink. Thanks for the earplugs, Blue Robot. I'm thankful to have a friend who is so thoughtful. Well, that's what good friends do for each other, too. The train trip. Red Robot, where are you? 
Oh, it looks like Red Robot has an envelope with a train ticket inside. I wonder why Red Robot has an envelope with a train ticket inside. Maybe it's because Red Robot is going on a train trip. Oh dear, what would it be like if Red Robot went away on a train trip? I imagine it would be sad. I imagine it would be lonely. There must be something I can do so Red Robot can't go on a train trip. Oh, hi Blue Robot. Hi Red Robot. Uh, I had an envelope here a little while ago. Have you seen it? An envelope? Uh, maybe a bird came in here and picked it up and flew far, far, far away with it. A bird? I can't imagine how that could have happened. You can't? Well, can you imagine a turtle? A turtle that ran off with it? A turtle? No, I can't imagine that either. Well, how about a really strong insect? Can you imagine that? A really strong insect? Really, really strong? Wait a minute. Did you take my envelope, Blue Robot? Me? Me? Well, maybe I put it in my shoe? Why did you put my envelope in your shoe? Maybe because I'd be so sad and lonely if you left on a train trip. I'm so sorry, Red Robot. I shouldn't have put your envelope in my shoe. Probably not, Blue Robot. But I just imagined what it would be like if you went away. If you left on a train trip. You imagined it? Well, I also imagined something. I imagined what a train trip would be like without you, Blue Robot. I imagined it would be sad. I imagined it would be lonely. I guess we'll both be sad and lonely then. I don't think we have to be sad and lonely because... There are two train tickets in the envelope, Blue Robot. One for you and one for me. I'm thankful to have a good friend so I won't have to be sad and lonely. Me too, Blue Robot. Well, I hope I have everything. Let's see. I have my book, my ticket, my suitcase, and... Huh? What happened to my pillow? It was just here. Maybe a muskrat took it. A muskrat? Yes, maybe a muskrat is using it as a raft to float down the river. Muskrat? Raft? You imagined all that? I imagine lots of things. So, did you ever imagine this? Did you ever imagine that our train trip would be this great? This great? Well, I did imagine that it would be really great, Red Robot. Maybe the things we imagine can happen sometimes. The end. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon with another great story. Please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. For more videos, please subscribe.